The headline news from the the Peace Kingdom Summit is, is China's commitment to uh, uh, um, to uh, in the future uh, possibly deploy a large uh, uh, force, uh, a ready reserve force, a strategic force uh, that would uh, give the UN uh, a, a much greater capability to uh, hopefully react uh, uh, more quickly in difficult circumstances. I think China, by making a very large commitment to UN peacekeeping, uh, is putting its uh, reputation uh, on on the line to a degree, and but it's also a, a very welcome move because it's making a, a significant commitment to this important international tool of peace and security. What needs to be recognised is that it's not just boots on the ground that matters. That these uh, all these missions need to be placed within a political strategy, and I think China can help do that uh, because often a political strategy is lacking in many of these conflict areas because behind the scenes there's no consensus among the great powers, the P5, or the regional powers. And I think China has the stature and the potential influence to, to broker those, uh, those uh, political agreements. There has been a m mismatch between those countries that pay for peacekeeping and uh, those p countries that deploy on peacekeeping. Uh, and I think China's uh, recent commitments, uh, and uh, uh, not just the, uh, the the large standby force, but also the deploying the, the battalion in, in South Sudan, uh, are, are showing that now there is uh, some overlap for the for the first time in, in, in many years. And I think that uh, will, um, perhaps going to the HIPAA report, help the Security Council think about uh, a more, a better deployment, a more strategic deployment of, of forces that and often it's not the numbers that that counts but it's the strategy and it's the quality that counts